Give a hand to my team. Masters, welcome guests. Tonight, I'd like to talk with you about three important life-saving surviving tips on surviving the cold, weathered, terrible Chicago. Well, we've had it pretty good lately, but you just wait and see. It goes up and down and all around. So are you ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready, I'm oh, ready, I'm ready. <laughs> now, the first tip on surviving the winters in Chicago is to stay warm. Bundle up. Voila. Though I did not have a chance to zip for you, I will unzip for you. <laughs> now notice all these fabulous layers that I am wearing. I am always warm in the winter. Some people look at me with strange faces. What are you doing? Some people make comments. Yeah, right. But you know what? I'm warm, really warm. In fact, I have my thermal shirt on, which just isn't enough. A. B. Take in warming supplements. There's coconut oil, cayenne pepper. What else is there? There are seaweed pills. If you take these before you go outside, 10 minutes, it will help you to stay warm on your journey in the cold Chicago. C. Run. Running will help you to stay warm. Now, I know sometimes when there's ice and snow and slush, <clears throat> you're kind of going a little slow, looking on the ground, looking where you're going. What are you? What are you, lost? No! It's cold outside. Run! Run if it's 10 or 30 degrees. Run for your life. Because it's going to keep you warm, man. You're going to get to where you want to go faster. You may be thinking, run in Chicago with snow and ice, slush, something slippery on the ground? <sighs> yes. And this ties in to the second point, which is to stay up. Stay up. You don't want to fall. <clears throat> and you won't if you listen <clears throat> to me. The first thing you need to do in order to stay up is to make sure your shoes are a good traction. These are okay. <laughs> the second thing is a little embarrassing. This is something I learned some time ago. When I first started to walk outside in the world, it wasn't even winter. I'd be inside, outside, and I'd just be walking. Hi, everyone. I was walking. And I'd fall. And I'd fall. And it was embarrassing. And it hurt. And it hurt. So I thought, you're doing this to me, feet. <laughs> and I have to do something about it. So, here's a secret. I start to do some foot and calf exercises. I do it every single day. I kind of point my toes, one here, one here, one there. Kind of do both together, you can really feel it in the calves. Now, to make sure you have balance is what you want. You want to walk, walk on your foot all kinds of ways. 
So make sure you always capture that balance. Even hold on to a wall to do this, or only on to a wall. Okay, but what really helped me the most, and I don't really do this in front of people, is I started practicing just being on one, one foot, one leg. I gotta make it even, one leg. <laughs> and I started to notice that I got balance. In fact, my balance was so good from just doing that. You know how they say, like, walk on water? I could, like, run on ice, like, on the top of your feet. It was, like, it was magical. And I'm always running in the winter to get the bird out. Three. Stay soft. How many have you heard of the neti pots? It's like a little teapot. That you put cool or warm water with some salt, any pot salt, and you inhale it. Well, I like to use the cup, it's just easier for me. Because you inhale it through your nose and out through the rest of your nose or mouth. <clears throat> and it really helps to clear out the center in your sinuses. Therefore, you and you and all of you will have less colds, less flus, and less allergies. I never used to believe in it. So, in recap, how to survive the cold weather winter, even though it's 30 or 40 degrees, it's still cold to me. One, stay warm. Bundle up. Layers of clothes. Thermal clothes. A. B. Take in warming supplements. Cayenne pepper, coconut oil, seaweed pills. C. Run. Two, two, stay up, stay up. Get traction shoes and do your balancing exercises every day. Three, two, salt up, salt up and do the neti pot every day. Do this and you have a happier and healthier winter. And if you thought this speech was helpful, just wait until I give you a real speech on health. <laughs> <laughs>